My name is Howard Hill, an engineer with Shell. I run Shell's uh, heavy duty product development field trial in North America. Uh, we're in Greensboro, North Carolina. Uh, we have taken down three Detroit diesel DD15s, 425 horsepower. Uh, these engines, uh, the triple protection unit accumulated 644,000 miles, a little over two years in, in its operating time. Um, the commercial T5 product was 669,000, again, a little over two years. And our experimental oil, uh, it's a T5 10W30, but it's a, it's a lower high temp, high shear value, which is one of the ways that we're trying to improve fuel economy is by the use of a, uh, a low high temp, high shear oil. It's also going to be forthcoming in the new PC11 proposed category 11, which will replace CJ4 sometime in 2016. So we're developing products uh, for the next evolution of engine oils. So we took these engines apart, comparing the 15W40, which is what everybody's used to running in their diesel engines, um, versus the low high temp, high shear 10W30. So, We'll start with a piston, and overall it looks like a dirty piston, but uh, whenever you see heavy carbon deposits on a piston, especially up here in the Crown Land area, uh, that tells me that, uh, that you didn't have really good oil control. In other words, you had oil that was getting by the top ring, and there's not a lot of evidence of heavy carbon on this Crown Land. So, number one step, the oil was doing its job. Uh, we go to the, the camshafts that are sitting here. Uh, we've got a wear track on the loads, which is normal, that's expected. Uh, when you have metal rubbing against metal, uh, you're protecting those parts with an oil film. And we weren't moving metal around, which means the oil was doing its job in an extreme pressure area, EP area. Um, the roller followers on the rocker arms are what stay in contact, constant contact with the cam lobes. Uh, we have the contact points that actually operate the valves here on the, on the rocker arms. Same here on the intake shaft. This is a dual overhead cam uh, engine. We've got a lot of moving parts that we need to protect. These are the rod bearings. Uh, we have a little bit of a wear track on the loaded side, but again, it's, it's expected. Uh, we have a wear track on the main bearings. Uh, this is connecting rod. We've got the crankshaft that connects here. Piston, piston, pin. And the polish in here is uh, as good as the uh, as the reference oil, the 1540, and the uh, commercial T5. Um, lastly, we have the cylinder liners, uh, clean on the outside, no evidence of uh, of pitting and corrosion. And then when we look down into the into the cylinder liner itself, we see that nice little crosshatch pattern down in there, which tells us that the oil is protecting that ring liner interface. Uh, if you have an oil that breaks down in the in the cylinder liner, then you will have uh, war polishing. In other words, the crosshatch pattern will go away. You end up with a mirror finish, and you're going to have a uh, an unwanted increase in oil consumption. So overall, we found that our our experimental low high temp high shear oil protected the engine just as well as the CJ4 15W4.